So I'm in Big Sky, Montana. Uh, we are in Kalispell and this is the Big Sky Raining Classic. Um, I thought I would show you, I don't have my trailer with me, so I'm actually um, staying in the back of my friend Tracy's trailer. And I thought I would show you how I set it up to be fairly functional and comfortable. Um, and it's something you could do in your two horse bumper pull. That's what I have done in the past when I only had a two horse bumper pull. But here's, uh, here's some options for camping at a horse show when you don't have a living quarters trailer. It doesn't look like much from here, but what we start with is an outdoor rug. Um, this is a pretty large one and it covers just about the whole floor of this three horse um, trailer. And then uh, this is a blow up bed. This is a Intex. It's really awesome. It blows up really fast, uh, holds air really well. I think I got it on Amazon. It's queen size. So just for reference here in this trailer, queen size fits with a bit of room to spare. Um, and as long as you have some sort of extension cord um, and power source, then you can you can pump it up that way and it pumps up really fast. So um, the blow up bed works really well. Obviously I've, I brought some bedding. Um, here with that carpet, you can see the horses were in here and I scraped all of the shavings and um, bedding and stuff out, but the carpet you can kind of run up along the side. So when you're sleeping, <clears throat> you're hands or your blankets or whatever really shouldn't be getting up on the dirty wall. And here's another little ingenious hack. So I had brought this box fan for whiskey uh, for his stall, but they don't have power at the stalls. So I actually uh, ran the extension cord here for the box fan for the trailer, which I kept on for about half the night until it really cooled off. Um, but I just put it in a, in a slow feed net I could get from the feed store and, uh, you're able to hang it up and secure it that way. So of course, with the rest of it, you just kind of set up some clothing. There's, I mean, you could get a lot more creative than I am here. Um, but being as it's not my trailer and I normally have a place to sleep in a trailer, this is just kind of a real quick deal. Um, so I have some food bags over there and then my own clothing bags. And the other thing that I wanted to show you, the one other thing to show you is when you're sleeping in the back of a trailer, you can't close the trailer door from the inside because there's no handles or anything. So what I did, this is a leg strap from a blanket and this particular trailer has some of these nice little D rings and hooks and things in here. So I just grabbed from the inside, the leg strap, brought it around, which helped prop open that uh, fan, and then hooked it up in there. It actually closes more than what I can show you, um, but that's a neat little trick for getting your, your door closed for you to be able to, to sleep in the back of your trailer. There you go, real quick, couple little uh, tips and tricks of what I've done to make it comfortable to sleep in Montana at the horse show in the back of a horse trailer. Just put outdoor carpet down, blow up bed, fan, good to go. If you have any other uh, hacks or ideas, put them in the comments below. I'm sure other people would love to see how you managed to do it. And if you like this video, give it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.